have the Tiny Kitchen Lake House Editions. Our kitchen is a little crazy right now, and I had a specific idea in mind, but I just wanted to give you quite an insight into our life and what it looks like when we are trying to cook. So James is pre-cooking bacon right now. We do it in a pan and oven. He's also going to be making ch pre-made chorizo. Chorizo. And then um, I'm going to be making some flatbreads for some pulled lamb sandwiches that we made, and I'm also going to make a So there's a lot going on in our kitchen right now. I'm going to talk as much as I can, but I might just speed it up so you all can see how kind of crazy it gets. Because it's not easy to be healthy, but these are my snickerdoodles. Oh. And there are carb, low carb, and uh, no, don't bacon worry. grease. Ah. Oh yeah, so James keeps James keeps all of the bacon grease after he cooks it in like a container. Show him the pile. Show him the, what? Show him the pile. Show him the pile. So this is one of them. <laughs> And uh, he'll use that to cook various things. We just cooked it with eggs the other day, and it was magical. And I'm getting some cinnamon to put on top of my Snickerdoodles, which I do already have a recipe for. And I'm going to cool these in the refrigerator first. I'll put a link below to my other video, the girl who um, inspired this from Pinterest. I'm trying to find space in my, clo in my closet. <laughs> in my refrigerator. <laughs> I had someone on one of my last videos like complain about how I talk too fast or like talk too much. And I was like, whatever. Like, you just gotta trust a rebel heart. <laughs> right in the battle. If, if, you're, if my personality doesn't work for you, why you gotta make a comment? Just go someplace else. Just leave a nice dislike and fuck off. <laughs> a dislike? Well, or, I mean, that's what the buttons are for. Right? I, I just don't understand people needing to spread negativity for no reason. I, you know, if you have nothing, I mean, in kindergarten, right? You have nothing nice to say, you say nothing at all. That means they like, like you. That means they're oh, oh gosh, let's not encourage that for small children and little girls. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to get started on these um, keto flatbreads. They're inspired by another uh, keto blogger and trainer, which is kind of, he inspired us to do this, didn't he? From Pride and Ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so one of the... Tristan and Jessica. Yep. Yeah. And they uh, they have their own YouTube channel. Go check it out. They're very very knowledgeable. Another buddy of mine named Chris Albert. He has his own channel. As well. Yeah, he's at Metro Flex and Long Beach. If you're like well, he, was, he was one of the original founders, and then uh, split off to do his own thing. So I didn't know. So anyways, we're gonna be trying their their flatbread because um, there's so many recipes out there for low carb breads, and they're a lot of work. And this just looked way way easier. So it's, it's five ingredients, and uh, let's get started. Five eggs, and then you mix in a quarter cup of ground chia and a quarter cup of flax. I already have three ground flax, but we do not have ground chia, so I'm about to bust out a blender and do that. And um, I added to this recipe, I'm never like making the same exact thing twice, and I need to start writing it down. I added chia seeds, to the snickerdoodles and cookies that I'm making, and they have the exact same consistency and like moistness as like amazing chocolate chip cookies. Like, like from you know your childhood, think, I, or at least maybe maybe your childhood didn't have that. But I'm just saying, traditional. We are also filtering our water, uh, so that's what that sound is. I'm trying to talk over it because it can be pretty aggravating. Uh, we there's fluoride, chlorine. Um, pharmaceuticals such as antidepressants, vitamins, in our water supply just that comes out of our tap. What else is in the water base? Why do we filter it? I always forget. Volatile organic. Volatile organic what? Chemicals. Chemicals. There's, there's a whole list. You can Google it and do some research. And if you, once you start to filter your water, you'll be able to smell the chlorine or the bleach after you don't, like when you go to work. Or if you go to a restaurant and you decide to be healthy and you want to get tap water, um, it's, it's, it's a huge, huge problem. And there are so many um, risky side effects to having things like fluoride in your water. And there are much better ways to clear the pathogens out of our public water supplies than to be using um, chlorine, or which is essentially bleach. And if you've ever spent time in a pool, it smells like that. So it's kind of a thing. <laughs> we get our... Chia from Costco, which is a huge supplier of organic produce, and it looks like this, Nutidia. It's amazing. It tastes really good. I have a good brand, but I don't know what they do, but there's just a butter. And then we don't, and then we have this, which is also organic. 
And this is also great. We really, really like it. Oops. And it makes great. I just gave myself like a paper cut, but it's like a plastic cut. Yeah. I'm like, ow. Super. Yeah, James almost like ripped off his toenail today, too. No, I just kicked the shit out of a metal door frame. Yeah, so but that. I had it coming, so. <laughs> Do we have a quarter cup anywhere? Mm. Is it like in a container or something? Yeah, I think you left it in one of the. No, it's not in. Ah! A fail. Um, I could just double it and then add like five more eggs, but I don't like it. Alright, so I don't have a quarter cup because uh, we let our garbage also eat things on occasion. And I'm just going to add that in. At least that's what most of them go to, right? Mm, no, usually just a little one, like teaspoons. Yeah. Eventually, we want to get rid of all plastic in our house. We're working towards that. So when all the plastic utensils uh, die out, we're going to be getting like ceramic ones or stainless steel. They'll be more durable, they're longer lasting, and they're better for the environment. Um, that's something I care a great deal about. Quarter cup also translates to four tablespoons. I just had a half a cup and filled it up halfway. Where you can do that. <laughs> just mixing the flats, and then I'm going to put... A quarter cup of chia seeds that are not ground into <laughs> it's so messy ah! into a blender and warm that up. I'll be back. This is also my first time using a camera. For the longest time, I was using the webcam on my laptop. My laptop is out of commission, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear. I don't have no idea what the volume is going to be like for this. Huh? They look like a pancake. And today, for our, I, I cooked a whole shoulder of lamb, and then I made homemade barbecue sauce out of ketchup, um, mustard seeds, and, and things like that. And if you wanted to see that, that's what this bread is being made for. It's for that particular sandwich, if you want to know what the recipe is. These cook super fast. This is really convenient and great. Uh, some of you struggle, like in just regular day-to-day -day multitasking, it can be very challenging to um, record a video while cooking and try not to burn your food. I have so much more respect for those acts. Like, they're actors, I guess, on Food Network, you know, those people who do this and make it seem like it's no big deal. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> Struggling. Just going to grab that container of baking grease again. Here we go. Take a little bit out. Spin it around. She did stress on their channel that you need to make sure it's, it's like, hot before, otherwise the, they'll, it'll stick. And uh, I'm like, oh no, let's not do that. Right now they just look like eggs. They don't even look like bread, really. So they taste like bacon, though. Baked bread, bacon. I guess I could be. Hmm. I'll bust out that lamb and I'll try some. Let's see how it is. 